Let the games begin. Welcome to the Super Wheeler Bros Podcast. I'm Jake Wheeler. And I'm Mike Wheeler. And that's Murphy. Murphy is on the floor. He made a noise right when we started. <laughs> yeah, yes he did. <laughs> Laid down like this is bullshit. I don't know why, I usually don't even let him in here. Yeah, well, we actually did start with some lighting, uh, uh, actually, for once. Yeah. It was dark in here, so I was like, hmm, let's turn the light on. All right. So, uh, what, what the fuck is going on? You know, same old, same old. Nothing uh, nothing really happened this week. Nothing to write home about, huh? I mean, I guess the national championship happened in basketball, but I don't really give a shit. <laughs> Kentucky lost. That's cool. Yeah, but Duke didn't. Yeah, I don't like Duke either, so. Oh, yeah. well. I really don't care, though. Yeah, yeah. It's college basketball. It means nothing to me. Really means little to nothing to me. I just don't like the college sports in general, really. Uh, well, the, the college basketball, there's a couple things they could do besides having better talent, uh, which they can't control that. I mean, college basketball is cool. March Madness is cool, but I usually don't care as much about the championship game. The problem is because of the beginning of it. The first couple days, it's like, see, my problem is it's such mediocre basketball. It's so mediocre. Like, you got dudes that can't play, you can't shoot, it's his own defense, and you don't have guys that can break down his own defense like you do in the NBA. And right. it bothers I mean, it's, me. It's obviously nowhere near as entertaining, but I mean, like, that... If they made the shot clock 24 seconds instead of 35, I think it would be infinitely better. Yeah, maybe. Maybe at least, like, 30. I mean, they got to do Give something. Give more time. It's funny they get uh, less fouls to foul out with though than in the, than in the NBA. It's yeah, weird. That's kind of dumb, but I don't know. I mean, it's I'm, I watch March Madness. That's pretty much. I don't really watch a lot. I watch UC every once in a while just because Dad always did. So mm-hmm. if it's on and I'm not really doing anything, I'll watch it. Mm-hmm. But I mean, yeah, I'm, I don't really watch college sports all that much. I mean, they're fine. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. So. I forgot to split this to a a, a, a mono track. Now we're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So uh, anyway, um, this is going to be kind of a slim pickings week as far as news. So we'll just get to, to wing it and uh, be be kind of fun this week. Um, how about opening day? Opening day happened yesterday. Go fucking red legs. I don't have anything on. I didn't plan that, by the way. Mm. It's just... uh, It's fun. This shirt. I had this shirt. Anyway, I'm so happy baseball's back. And uh, boy, was it a interesting game. Uh, my friend, Josh Harrison, uh, who I played baseball with many, many years ago, uh, got to lead off the game in his hometown. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And he played great cool. again, like he always does. He got two hits. Yep. The fucking Reds won their game, though. Yep. Johnny Cueto dominated. Of course. Uh, our best player is uh, Joseph Daniel Votto, still. Yeah. Vintage Joey Votto at bat to mm-hmm. give Todd Frazier a chance to, to do some damage. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. Yeah, I think he is going to be you know, in I the right spot okay. and, and second. Well, look, lineup. do you see how slim he looks? Yeah, he did. That's what I said, too. He, he looks really much big. slimmer. He, just, he looked thin to me. I was like, damn, he's looking... I said, he's looking trim. <laughs> he does, man. He looks great. He looks like he's going to be... There's not going to be as much pressure on his knees and his legs that have been bothering him so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm looking forward to having a big year from our by far best player. And I think Jay Bruce will have a nice bounce back year. I think he'll be back to hitting like 250 and 30 home runs. Disney rather home than home run. Got his first RBI. Yeah, I mean, if he's healthy, he should be at least better than than he was last yeah. year. So yeah, and Todd Frazier, Todd Frazier, love Todd Frazier. Ball. Made, and he made a great defensive play on McCutcheon. By the way, fucking Andrew McCutcheon yeah. is an incredible player. Yeah, he is. He's an incredible player. Like just so clutch. Like boom, bomb. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I was worried the uh, the bat before that when uh, Marlon Bird had to make his nice catch. Oh yeah, there was a lot of good defensive plays. The only person that didn't really make, um, the only person that didn't make that good of a defensive play that I can remember is Brandon Phillips, really, or Cozart. Cozart had one where he tracked it up the middle and like made a nice throw. I mean, it wasn't spectacular, but it was at least... Okay. Brandon Phillips didn't do shit. They're, but their defense is so good. Oh, yeah. And I'm not saying Brandon Phillips can't. It's just nothing was really no. hit to Well, Bale, Billy Hamilton, actually, his great defensive play was a blunder almost because he tracked yeah, well, it Yeah, well, I mean, the ball was, you know, tailing away from him, though. I mean, yeah. that's what they were saying and uh, the announcer was saying, too. Like, it's... It's one of the hardest ones to catch when it's coming right at you sometimes. Oh, believe me, I know, especially just, in center field. So he made a nice job uh, recovering. Jay yeah. Bruce made a good catch at the end. Yeah. Like Captain Morgan, the fucking tarp for a second. Yeah, he's good at that. He's, um, he's a, They have great. And now that Marlon Bird is playing left field, yeah. they have a great defensive team in every position. Mm-hmm. Uh my boy Devin Mezzarocco didn't. Uh, by the way, both Todd Frazier and Devin Mezzarocco bought some stuff in my store this year uh, within the last month. Good nice. for them both on their contracts. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Deserved. But I love all those guys, and I'm glad. And Johnny Cueto, I can't say enough about that dude. Just dominated. You know he's never lost to the Pirates. 7-0. and Mm-mm. Did not know that. On opening days, he's one and one all time with a point six six ERA. That's fucked up. Point six ERA. You should. <laughs> you should be undefeated. It's crazy, he hasn't won a fucking Cy Young yet. Just because there's been a Kershaw, pitcher, man. There's been a pitcher every year, just a little bit better. Well, Kershaw's got three out of the last four. Yeah. Well, it's usually him, but I mean, <laughs> even when he didn't win. Yeah. Well, next to Kershaw, Johnny Cueto's the best pitcher in baseball the last five years. No, well, I mean Kershaw's the best. It's hard to argue that. Johnny is probably second. I'm sure, best. some people would probably argue that, but well, you can maybe say Madison Bumgarner just because he has literally taken led his team to two out of the three World Series the Giants have won. Mm-hmm. But um, you playoff know. wise, he's been the oh best. Madison Bumgarner by far. Yeah, he's a beast in the playoffs. Yeah. Faux show. But yeah, you know, baseball's back. That's cool. It was so much fun. It's uh, low expectations for the Reds, though. It's the only thing that really sucks about it. But Yeah, but you know what? I think they can overachieve if they're healthy, but that's the question. I are think they, they healthy? are going to overachieve if they're healthy. I mean, I don't think they're going to. They they're pitching, man. Yeah, we'll see. They've got Johnny Cueto. they got Mike Leake. Who else they got? Homer Bailey, when's he coming back? That's we'll the see, thing. See can he stay he healthy? Is. He's had one healthy year in his career. Yeah. And then their bullpen, besides Aroldis, is not good. Yeah, they, it's funny. They were talking about it being improved, but it was the same thing as last year. It's like as soon as the bullpen came in, they were just like, damn. Yep, that Cubs reject. They couldn't fucking make it. The only thing that's better about the bullpen this year is they put Singrani out there. That's true. He's not uh, a starting pitcher. No. Yeah, Sengrani was dealing in spring training once he got demoted, but I know he's not happy about that. Yeah. So, anyway, I, I'm just hoping for the the best for the Reds. I love baseball season. It's going to be awesome. I'm just glad the Yankees and the Mets are going to suck. So, yeah. Well, I don't really give a shit about the Mets, but the, I'm glad the Yankees are going to suck. Yeah, I don't really, so. yeah, really care about the Mets. Fuck the Yankees. Not saying it. What? And their wrinkled, rusted, roll country assholes. Oh, I wasn't even thinking it. <laughs> I wasn't. Um, yeah, uh, and also we had some a fun game uh, with the Bulls and the and the Cavs on Sunday, right? That was pretty fun. Yeah, even though I didn't Joe watch Kim, all of it, Joe Kim calling LeBron a pussy. Oh, did he really? Like repeatedly. Oh, I didn't even see that. Is that why LeBron had his first dribble? He was bubble? like, "What pussy? What pussy? What pussy? What pussy?" Wet, wet pussy? No, what, what pussy. Pu- wet what pussy, pussy is what Joe Kim Noah has. Uh, By the way, fucking Joe Kim Noah, you are the ugliest motherfucker in the NBA. Now that Delonte mm, West is gone. Mm, Pau Gasol is, is almost there. Oh, his teammate. Yeah. yeah. By the way, uh, Tristan Thompson dominated Joe Kim Noah. And Pau Gasol also didn't do anything. Yeah, so, Moz Yeah. Mozgov played him great. 
I'm sorry. Fuck the Bulls because they got a bunch of little bitches on their team. I like Jimmy Butler. He's a solid player. I, I'm a huge Derrick Rose fan. I like Derrick Rose. He can't. He just can't stay Derrick healthy. Derrick Rose is a piece of glass, man. It's unfortunate because yeah. he's such a great player. Yeah, he's fun to watch. Yeah. But he's I'm not funner Russell. than Russell, though. <laughs> Russell for Oklahoma City, man. That dude's a monster. Yep. He, he got another triple-double on Sunday when they lost to Harden in the Rockets. He did. Too bad he can't, you know, put his team in the playoffs. Uh, he's still in the eighth seed right now. Mm. I mean, they're going out first round because Golden State's going to destroy him right. without KD. But that's, uh, you know, that's why it makes me laugh when people are always saying, like, how LeBron has all these superstars. I'm like, well, when he didn't, he took his team to the finals. I mean, uh, he His best record ever mm-hmm. was 66 wins with that last Cavs team. With fucking no With Mo Williams. Yeah, that was it. Him and Mo. The LeBron and Mo show. Yeah, it was really just the LeBron show. <laughs> LeBron and a sidekick Mo. Yeah, that was his best player to play with was Mo Williams. Mo Williams had some big shots though. I remember no, watching it until he game. wilted in the playoffs and didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no. Look, I like Mo Williams. I think he's a good little player, but let's be honest. <laughs> well, I'm not saying he's like fucking superstar. He's not D Wade. But... He's not Chris Bosh. Well, he's no not shit. He's not I mean, Ky- but Kyrie Irving. That shot. Dude, J.R. Smith is a better Mo Williams. Yeah. Mo Williams is a point guard. That was the only thing that, you know. But, I mean, you know, they had LeBron. But, I mean, still. Yeah. When he wasn't in or when LeBron was like, no, you take it. Yep. The only thing that I, I have a question on is can Kevin Love put his – crybaby antics aside and <sighs> just play we'll see he's an important piece because he rebounds and he can make open shots and but he can create his own shot too down yes on the he block. can I mean, he can he just doesn't ever get the fucking ball down there well that's a shame though like he is not a three point shooter mm-hmm. just a three point shooter no. he's a power forward that can shoot he's not like Miritich by the way that motherfucker has an offensive foul every time. He pushes off and does that little uh, James Harden step. Yeah. Every time. Pushes off. Yeah, I don't know. It is just killing me. But the, the joke him Noah, what pussy, to LeBron repeatedly. I'm just like, why, does, why would you talk shit to a guy that's eliminated your team from the playoffs four straight years? Since you've been in the league. <laughs> He's three and they've won one game. Each year against LeBron's teams, yeah, they're th- he's three and twelve in the playoffs, and they're one and three against the Cavs this year. And it didn't even look; it looked to me like they were just dicking around because they were just throwing up half court shots and throwing up shots falling out of bounds. And yeah. LeBron didn't even look like he was playing that hard and got a triple double. LeBron can get a triple double all the time. Oh, uh, Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith were talking about because Alonzo Mourning said that uh, Michael Jordan could ad- average fifty in today's NBA. And first of all, I think that's ridiculous. I don't think he could average fifty, because no. then his team would suck. Yeah, and everybody, you know, Jordan wouldn't average fifty though. He would get his teammates involved because he knows that you have to. Same thing with LeBron. Do I think LeBron could average forty if he wanted to? Because he doesn't have as good an outside game as MJ or Kobe. Yeah, he could average forty. I think Russell could average forty. A lot of people could. I think you I mean, could. If you really wanted to, Carmelo, KD, I think they could average 40. Kobe could have. Kobe could average 50 if he, I mean, if he shot every shot. Yeah, I mean, but, well, you know, you're not going to be good. You're not going to win. Mm-hmm. So that argument is just absolutely fucking stupid. It's just dumb. Yeah. But. You know, it's funny. A lot of times I sit there and pay attention to the games. And I'm like, oh, LeBron's close to a triple-double. And then they'll be up. The games that he's he he could have gotten them this year already. Yeah, where he was dominating. Up. They he didn't even play yeah. the fourth quarter he, a lot yeah, of times. He doesn't even play the fourth quarter. So, and he has only like two assists away. <clears throat> and I like how they kept saying like Kevin Love sat out the fourth quarter of fourteen games. Yeah, about twelve or eleven to twelve of those were games that they were blowing people out. Yeah, he's only sat out in the fourth quarter during close games three times. Yeah, a handful of times. So, Kevin Love is a great player. 
You know, I, I, he just needs to, he's got to learn that, look, if you want to win rings, you're going to have to sacrifice. He's going to end up in probably New York or L.A. next year, though, I think. Of course, if he has a problem playing with LeBron, he's going to have a big problem playing with either Carmelo or Kobe. Yeah. Yeah, probably so. LeBron passes him the fucking ball. I don't get it. Like, make your shots, homeboy. Uh, plus, I just don't understand, like, he should know that he was a, you know, help. But I, we knew people or talked to people that thought he should have been the fucking MVP last year. Yeah, how, how are we looking on that? Yeah, how's he, how's he looking as the best player in the fucking league? Hey, uh, is he one of the ten players that could beat LeBron one-on-one? Uh, no. Um, anyway. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying now. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it just, it just, I don't know. He, I don't know why he would want to go back to being that. Like, yeah, you might score more points and look better by yourself, but. Yeah, sweet. What do you want your legacy to be? Kevin McHale or fucking Carl Malone? Mm-hmm. Carl Malone, all-time great player. But Carl Malone ain't got no rings, motherfucker. Carl Malone was at least close, though, a couple times. He did go to the NBA Finals twice. I mean, by himself. Kevin Love. Okay, do you want to be. God, who's a really great power forward? Who's a really great player? Do you want to be Tracy McGrady? Yeah. Or do you want to be Kevin McHale? You want to be Tracy McGrady, or do you want to be. You want to be Patrick Ewing? Patrick Ewing's a great player. Didn't didn't even I think he got to one finals. Yeah, he didn't really do that much. Kevin Love hasn't gotten to shit. No, Kevin Love hasn't even played a playoff game yet. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's funny that all these people are like, Oh, he had to assemble this great team with, you know, superstars like Kyrie and Kevin Love. It's like Kevin Love was a star. I would never consider him a neither superstar. Neither one of them have been in the fucking oh, no. playoff by themselves. No, and LeBron James instantly, I don't give a fuck who he's playing with. Yeah. You're a playoff team. Yeah. LeBron took the Cavs to the playoffs every year, didn't he? It was except his Rookie first year. year. Yeah, except didn't. his first year. LeBron James has, I think, 7,000 more minutes than he anybody else at his age. Nobody. From the get-go, he had nobody. He had Zadrunas. <laughs> That's one of his favorite teammates Big was Z Big was Z. Pretty, was pretty, he was all right. He I was mean. good, but he, his knees were shot by the time LeBron got in the league. Mm-hmm. Like he, yeah, if he, he been was a, a spot-up shooter by the time LeBron got there. If he had been a little bit uh, younger, he'd have been all right. I feel bad for Big Z because he, he went with LeBron to Miami his first year, and they got to the finals and lost. All right. So, and then, and then he, he retired, retired yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but what are you going to do? <laughs> could have hung around for one more year. Yeah, I guess he could have, yeah. <laughs> Barely played, but. Yeah. Well, look at Mike Miller. Mike Miller didn't play ever, which is yeah. kind of ridiculous. Uh, he seems to enjoy himself, though. Yeah, he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Still the biggest cheerleader on the bench. Yeah, I love Mike Miller. In the fucking arena, I should say. Yeah, it, Kevin Love should take some cues from fucking Mike Miller. Yeah, shut the fuck up, man. Yeah. Kevin Love's got a bad back, too. Yeah, he does. And he's still playing well. That's what drives me nuts. Hindering my basketball game, too. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, I think I think we got enough about sports. I just I can't wait till the playoffs start and everybody gets a run out of the East by the Cavs. And then you got what else to say? Nothing. And you got people who say the East sucks and they should win. Great, but the Cavs would still be right in the midst of having a number two seed in the West. And you know what? I don't care who comes out in the West. You know the team I would fear the most Spurs. coming out of the West would be the Spurs. That's the only team that can beat them coming out of the West. I, I mean, out of all the teams besides them. And Maybe I, Houston, who's played really well against them. They could beat the Spurs, too. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I don't... I don't know. I, I don't... I'm not... They can beat any team. Let's put it, There's nobody play. that can guard LeBron except for Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard does a great job slowing him up. But Kyrie Irving, <coughs> not going to be defended by Tony Parker. No. Or anybody on the Rockets, for that matter. Including James Harden. <laughs> James Harden can't guard a fucking... <laughs> he can't guard anything. I was going to say something. Kyrie I couldn't can go around fucking funny. Dwight Howard pretty fucking easily, too, probably. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Hassan Whiteside and just throwing fucking layups in. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Hawan Hassan Whiteside, like, like he kept Kyrie in check pretty good. Yeah, but I think that guy is better at blocking shots right at, at this, this point. point than Dwight Howard. Yeah, Dwight's back is, I mean, 
Yeah. Yeah. Who knows if he's going to even be Dwight, able to play? Dwight can catch all oops, but he can't do much else right now. Yeah. But they've beaten the Clippers twice. They've beaten Golden State badly. Uh, they've the only team they've really lost to is the Rockets, and then they beat San Antonio. Um, yeah, you know, I think they can beat any team, even the Rockets. I don't think the Rockets are going to get there though. Yeah, the Rockets are going to have a tough road. They might actually play San Antonio in the first round. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. That would not be something I'd want to do in the first round at all. So. Nope. It's either going to be Houston or Memphis that has to play San Antonio in the first round, and that's not going to be good. Memphis has a better shot because they can play a slow, grinded out game with big men. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah, so I can't wait for the NBA playoffs. It's my favorite time of the year is uh, playoff time. Oh, yeah, man. So I love the playoffs. I'm ready. Yeah, as long as Pitbull's not singing the playoffs. Playoffs. I can just fast forward it or That's it. true. That's true. It's always an option. So, uh, I got like three or four things to look at, and they're three or four. Eh, not going to take long. Uh, Christoph Waltz said that he is absolutely not playing Blowfield in, Spect- in uh, Spectre. But this could just be some bloviating, just to throw it off the track. He could be blowing some smoke. Yeah, up our asses. Yeah. Blow felting some smoke. By the way, we are really good at that. Because I said bloviating, and you're saying blowing smoke. We're mm-hmm. funny. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yes, that was quite good. That was great puns right there. <laughs> uh, Barbara would be proud of us from Rooster Teeth. Okay. Her name's not Barbara Punkelman for nothing. I did, yes, I always hesitate. <laughs> That's not half bad for a on the cuff. Yeah, I've never really tried doing that before. I, on the other hand, love my unofficial title. <laughs> you ask yourself, hang on, what James Bond are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. <laughs> the thing about Spectre is that it's not the work of hack writers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely done. Christoph Waltz says I'm not doing Blowfield, but I think he's just full of shit. <laughs> yep. So uh, Kevin Smith uh, said he is doing Mallrats 2 next. No Clerks 3 next, but Mallrats 2 next. Yeah, and apparently, I, you, did you read why? Uh, I mean, it just kind of came about, you know. Well, apparently it was because they wanted to do it in, like, a mall they could do anything to that was going out of business. And they could, like, blow up at the end of the film if they wanted to. <laughs> wink, wink. Um, <laughs> yeah. And here it is. they found one. But yep. they need to do it, like, now if they want to do it. Yeah. And he's still trying to get Batfleck. What did he say? I don't think he's asked him yet. No word on Batfleck yet. It'll be fun to see if we can get him. You got Steve Dave in it, though. Do get, you do got Steve Dave. Tell him Steve Dave. Tell him Steve Dave. Mosier. Mm-hmm. Of course Mosier was going to do it. What is that? Uh, that is Mosier and Kevin Smith on the set of Clerks 2, apparently. Oh. <clears throat> but the only people left that I can think of that they have to get is obviously Claire Forlani. Um, I don't know who some of these people are. And Ben Affleck. Claire Forlani was the main girl. All right. TS's lady. Yeah, and they supposedly got married, so. That doesn't mean anything. They I'm get just divorced. saying, you know, <laughs> without. You have to explain that away, obviously. Yeah. That was like the whole point of the first movie. Yeah. Yeah. As long as. Dude, I got Brody back. That's all I fucking cared about. Yeah. Brody and Jane Silent Bob. Yeah. That's all that mattered. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the two people that Joe Blow here suggested was maybe Priscilla Barnes and Brian O'Halloran. Which is the uh, the the third nipple gypsy, and uh, yeah. uh, Dante Hicks' brother Gil. Gil. Yeah, the one that was on the dating show at the end, and he's oh, talking about. Well, did he good. come or what? He didn't like. Yeah. <laughs> so. I completely forgot where he was at in the movie. Yeah. I want to watch more rides now. I know. I want to watch it. I haven't <laughs> seen it in ages, so it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. But uh, those are the only people I can think about besides uh, Ben Affleck. Everybody else is 
there. So I don't know. So Yeah, I don't know. Got to get Claire Forlani. I don't know if she'll do it. She's kind of a, a classy British chick, so. So. But we'll see. I don't know. Well, whatever. Write her out of the fucking movie. She then. showed her tits in Looper. Did she? Yeah, she was the one, the hooker that was with uh, JGL. Oh. She's playing a hooker. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she can show hers in this movie then instead of... Uh, uh, Joey Lauren Adams. Yeah, Joey Lauren Adams. Unless she wants to. I mean, I, I, I don't really need to see either I one don't. of them. <laughs> Let's get some young blood in there. I'm just making suggestions. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, God. Anyway, uh, Mallrats 2. Can't wait. They definitely don't need to show us uh, Priscilla Barnes again. No, not at all. Mm -mm. There was more boobs in that movie than there's ever been in any other Kevin Smith movie. I don't think Kevin Smith has ever shown boobs in a movie besides that one. Of course, he also claims uh, that something about Mary got to rip off uh, his skeet over the, uh, uh, was it the dressing partition? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. because he originally had a scene yeah, apparently there. Apparently, they did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, Universal said no. <laughs> so. His wife has like shown her boobs in like a see-through thing. Yeah, and Clerks too. Yeah, it's kind of weird. She yeah. was in Playboy. Kevin Smith had a Playboy shoot over. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is weird. <clears throat> anyway, not uh, for Kevin Smith though. It's not weird for him at all. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Josh Whedon said that uh by the way i really hope that uh <laughs> i really hope that nobody tries to text me during this because i didn't put it on airplane mode Uh-oh. <laughs> anyway uh joss whedon said that uh there's going to be no uh after credits thing for avengers 2 cool i read that too and i was kind of like eh, whatever i don't really give a shit yeah plus you know I'm I'm in agreement though. Like it doesn't. I think really they should it. start t- s- s- a little, uh, saying that to people, like just staying firm on that, and not telling anybody, and then you know the people who leave will be all pissed and shit when they find out there was. <laughs> just to fuck with everyone. Like you're you're still gonna come see our movies. Fuck you. Yeah, pretty much. I just love that Murphy hasn't moved from that window. Dude, that's all he does is fucking look out the window when he's inside. <laughs> unless you're unless one of us is paying attention to him. Like if I called him right now, he'd come over here. He has no idea what we're talking about him either. <laughs> yeah, he's in the zone. He's oblivious. He's in the fucking zone. But I mean, yeah, unless unless you're paying attention to him, he's just looking out the window or the back door. <laughs> fucking obsessed with outside. <clears throat> so there's a couple gaming news, and then uh, and then we can I guess just talk about uh, if there's any TV or movies that we watched and stuff like that. Because uh, I do have one review of a movie. Oh. Just one. Uh, the the newest Gears of War. I'm not gonna say anything. The newest Gears of War is only going to be on Xbox One. It will not be on Xbox 360. Fine by me. Yep. Yes, sir. So I'm happy to hear that because they're going to be fully taking advantage of uh, the uh, next gen systems for the newest Gears of One. Gears of War. Cheer. Uh The new. Uh, Xbox system update. They are finally going to try to do some party chat improvements. Because, God, party chat in Xbox One sucks balls. So, it does. Trust me. I remember having a problem with it at first. And I I don't remember what the problem was. Because it really... I never have a problem with it now. Yeah. Game Hub links. Uh, in February, they introduced Game Hubs, uh, where you can get uh, news on upcoming updates and featured game clips and stuff to do with games, like so you can favorite your your games that you really, really want to see content on. So that's cool. And then uh, new achievement notica- notifications. Uh, they will display the name of the achievement and the gamer score you just earned. With, uh, with tonight's update... You'll also see the achievement description so that you know what you did to earn the achievement without having to pop it open in the middle of the game. Hmm. Which is awesome. That's good. Hmm. So it'll be kind of a bigger achievement pop. Gotcha. Which will be sweet. Um, that's really your big updates. The The party chat thing is going to be the big thing for sure. Cool. Last but not least is Activision teasing Call of Duty Black Ops 3. There's some video out there. I'm not going to really play it or try and find it because I just don't care. Um, all I care about is, 
can we please get a Call of Duty Black Ops 3? I want that. I really do. I actually do. There was talk about there being a World at War 3 as the next Treyarch, because they're up after this. It's their turn to be making their new Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to finish out like a trilogy, and I want Treyarch Zombies. Because as much as I like Advanced Warfare Zombies, the Exo Zombies, I want me some old school zombies. Yeah. I'd so. agree with that. Fuck these zombies. I don't know. I just... I, I like the new uh, game and everything. It's not even so much the zombies that bother me. It's the... Like, I have to upgrade my fucking weapon like up to, like, mark 20-something. 20 25 is the most it can get to. To even, like, make it powerful enough to last in the last rounds. Because that seems to be a problem for me. I can never... Yeah, well, there, there's no, like, major wonder gun. Like, the... Uh... The Cell 3 Cauterizer is powerful, but like the most powerful guns are fucking launchers. The launcher, the Mayhem, and the launcher, the Crossbow. When you fully upgrade those, they're the most OP guns in the game, rather than, you know, like light machine guns they already got nerfed. OP mean? That's the second time you've said that. OP overpowered. Well, actually, you said that during the uh, game commentary before. The OP. Oh, OP overpowered. overpowered. Okay, is that like some gamer term that I don't know? I guess, man. I thought you would know that, but... Why would I, the fuck would I know that? Because you play games? I know, but I, I, with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> All right, OP. OP. You know OPP? Mm. Yeah, you know me. Overpowered piece of shit. Yeah, I'm going to check the video real quick. What? Just make sure. We're good. Hey, Murphy. What did you think the problem was? Well, I just, uh, I kept hearing buzzes, and I didn't know if every one of them was your phone. Mm-hmm. So I'm just hoping nobody texts in the middle of this. <laughs> um, wow, well, that shut it off? Yes. It'll shut off the video recording. So. Fuck. Well, what else you got, man? What Actually, did you watch? Here's what I could do. Oh, okay. I know. <laughs> Perfect. Uh... Nope, not going to work trying to just drag and put airplane mode on but it's fine anyway so uh i watched taken three. Oh, okay taken three how'd that go i actually enjoyed it really mm-hmm. did you like taken two mm-hmm. i haven't seen either one you didn't see taken two no really didn't really care huh i like i really that should not have had a sequel no i don't think it should have had a sequel but Watching Liam Neeson whoop ass as that character, I'm totally down for. Kind of like Crank. It shouldn't have had a sequel. But then again, I did like Crank too. Well, that's not surprising. If you liked Crank. I mean, but it would have been... But, you know, it's just like... I guess everything gets a sequel now, but I, it's just, you know, I like well, the idea... Well, does Rats need a sequel? No. Exactly. It's, it's a comedy. I'm not like as... I don't know why. I'm not as like offended by it with a comedy i guess i mean i guess it all depends on how I mean, if you make a really good sequel yeah i just don't like i mean some movie i like the idea of some movies not having sequels and it's just no I'm, I'm i'm with you it just doesn't happen anymore i'm but, with you you know what are you gonna do when i was a kid when you were a kid they made a Die Hard sequel and an yeah. under siege sequel and all kinds of stuff i know i was being sarcastic i <laughs> i grew up you know when the sequel age was like kicking in well, see, back in the day, they would make sequels, but they would have their own independent story, and it would have a completely different name, like all the Dirty Harry movies. There's like yeah. five Dirty Harry movies, but they all have different names. But there was movies where they didn't make sequels. A lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, of course there is. We're in the age of superhero movies, though, now, so... Well, I want to see sequels to those. Yeah, but a lot of times, serials. a lot of times though, they're not going to like Iron Man one, two, and three are the only ones that really had like sequel names, whereas everything else was like a subtitle, which I like better. Yeah, I mean it's a continuation of their story. In Marvels, but, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but but I mean, there's only been, I mean, I guess both of the sequels they've done. I, mean, I guess the, Inc- but the Incredible Cap- Hulk wasn't a sequel. That was a reboot. No, it's it was a soft reboot. It was Thor and Captain America. Yeah, because they did Iron Man, and then and that's it, really. Mm-hmm. And they'll have Cap, Civil War, and uh, Thor, Ragnarok. 
So. Right. But yeah. So what did you think of Taken 3? I did quite like enjoyed it. it. Uh, it was a definitely a different style of movie. Hi. Because it's about him being on the run, sort of. Do you own all of the Taken movies? No, I do not. I actually don't own any of them anymore. I mm-hmm. had Taken 1, and for some reason I got rid of it. I don't know why. I love Taken 1. Taken 1. I gotta go take one. Yeah, I love the first Taken. Or two. And two was still good. It was a lot of the same. I, yeah, I mean, I just never saw it. I don't know why. You would enjoy it, I think. At I least know. enough to to watch it. I don't know why you wouldn't like it. I couldn't give you a reason. You like 47 Ronin. There's no reason for you not to like a movie that's as solid as Taken, uh, number two. Dude, 47 Ronin is fucking awesome. Have you watched it again yet? No. You should. No. You really should. You want to borrow it? No. I have it. You went out and bought it. I went out and bought it. You are such a dingleberry. (laughs) Oh, my God. I will watch that movie again, too. I guarantee it. I liked it. All right. I like a lot of weird movies, though. That's okay. So do I. I like Boon Reku or Boon Raku, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah. A lot of people don't like that movie. Yeah, you do like weird movies. Yeah. It's okay, though. Um, but anyway, uh, Liam Neeson is awesome once again. Um, and the they, fucking cool ass dude from the last samurai was in it. Yeah. The guy that was in the Wolverine as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's badass. I can't remember what his name is, oh, but yeah, that was another reason I liked it a lot. I just know that he whooped Tom Cruise ass a lot. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But All at the right. end they were boys. Oh, there you go. I don't know what they're barking at. She's not home. Mm-hmm. Shut up! Shut your face. Hey. <laughs> Trying to talk about Keanu Reeves and Samurais and Liam Neeson and Taken people. Yeah. You fucker. You Porsche dick. That is a really good phrase. That is. Anyway, um, dick. what would you rate Taken 3? I don't know. Seven. Six, seven. seven. Seven is quite solid. I would say Taken, the very first Taken was an eight. Taken two was a seven. Taken three was about the same. Okay. Solid, solid rating. Yep. Um, I enjoy Liam Neeson and his merry band of misfits that he has in his little group. His merry band of misfits, huh? Yeah. That's and uh, like and movie. I love Maggie Grace. I, I just think she's just... Whether she's a good actress or not, she just mesmerizes she's me. She's the graciest. Yeah. She's fine. That's what she is. But anyway, and I liked her a lot on Californication, by the way, which is a solid little show that uh, more people should watch. I have not seen that either. It's a great show. Um, did you watch any other movies? I'm trying to think. I did watch through Fast and Furious, Fast 5 and Fast and Furious 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've seen those before. Yes. I just wanted to kind of... You know, in case I did see Furious 7 at some point to kind of brush back up. Yeah. And uh, I feel like the last three that I mentioned there, they just got better and better. They really did. I think Fast Five still is probably yeah, my favorite. Yeah, I still like Fast Five more than Fast and Furious 6. And then this one's Furious 7. Like, what well, the just, hell is the pattern just, here? Justin Lin said he wanted it to go Fast and Furious which is number four, Mm -hmm. then Fast Five, and then Furious Six. But uh, Universal said no. We want more. They renamed it. But he said it was supposed to be the end at six. Mm -hmm. But Universal was like, nah, we're not doing that. Nope, sorry. That's all right. uh, And apparently uh, the newest Fast and the Furious is giving everybody the feels. Oh, man. All right. Well, I mean, I, I definitely want to see it, but yeah, we'll I, see I'm very happens. interested to see it. I just don't know when when I'm gonna go. If we do see it, we'll definitely talk about it on here. We'll report our findings to you all, people. <laughs> but <laughs> if not, you'll have to wait a couple months until Blu-ray comes out. It's already on pre-order. So yours is already on pre-order. No, I'm just saying it's already on pre-order. Oh, okay. and I will get a copy. I'm sure about a month before it comes out. So. Okay. So I can watch it. All right. You know, like know Taken doesn't come out for another couple of months saying. or a couple of weeks. So <laughs> Cool. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I watched. I don't think so. 
I watched. Uh, oh, I watched Daredevil again. Daredevil again. Yeah, the uh, the Ben Affleck Daredevil. Yeah. Uh, still pretty solid, but mm, there's a lot of stuff that Ben Affleck did that I didn't like. Like what? It, it just seemed like Ben Affleck in the suit, you know. I'll give you that. But uh, it was just smug. I'm not worried about it. Well, that was 2002. That was yeah. 13 years ago. Different person. <laughs> Very much so. Um, but he met Jennifer uh, Garner on the set, and sh- that was the best she ever looked. Yeah. Was as Electra. I agree. She and she really did a good, good job. Movie. Colin Farrell and Michael Clark Duncan, they both kind of sucked. Ah, I like Colin Farrell's fucking over-the-top bullshit. <laughs> oh, it was extremely over-the-top. Yeah. It was so over the top, it was bad. Bullseye. <laughs> I just, the only part of the movie. I got your pretty girlfriend, too. That's why I got your pretty girlfriend, too. That red rose shite. He loves that. <laughs> or something like that. He loves that shite. <laughs> he loves that shite. <laughs> the, oh, uh, what a fucking costume. <laughs> yeah. I did love the part when he's sitting on the plane and that old lady is just jibber jabbering and he fucking hit her with the peanut. Oh, yeah. And he's just like. <sighs> this shit was hilarious, man. <laughs> he's just like, oh, she's sleeping. Can I get you anything? More peanuts, please. Yeah. What? The part where he's just fucking walking and going up the escalator <laughs> like this. <laughs> it's so dumb. Why is he doing that? The tear tub was always a, like a one I have to take less. Like I, I like that almost like it's like it's like the '66 version almost. But it's a serious Daredevil. movie though. <laughs> like people die a know, lot. Still. By putting the fair in them. It's very cheesy, but now the end fight though between Kingpin and Daredevil is badass. Yeah, love that is. end fight. I don't know. I actually enjoyed the romantic elements they put in the theatrical version that is not in the R-rated cut, but the R-rated cut is definitely better. Yeah, the R-rated cut is definitely better. That's all there is to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty much. We're talking about an old-ass movie. Yeah. An even older movie I watched was The Longest Yard. Uh, the Burt Reynolds version? Yeah. yeah. Well, they're both the Burt Reynolds versions. Well... This is the Burt Reynolds version. I'm just messing with you. Yeah. yeah, I'd never seen it before. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it was it was entertaining. I mean it was Yeah. If I had to say which one I like watching more, I'm sorry, but it's probably the Adam Sandler one. Mm-hmm. Just because there's so many more people in it. Oh hey, I didn't know that was on. <laughs> Ding. Um Yeah. I'm not gonna Talk to you, motherfucker. 7.45. I Sorry. don't fuck with you. Yeah, asking me a stupid question anyway. Um. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, just because there's more people in the new one. so. Well, it's just, you know. The old one doesn't have fucking cheeseburger Eddie and that shit, you know I mean? Cheeseburger Eddie's great. So, yeah. Uh, doesn't have Nelly trying to do a fucking... Nice guy, super fucking thick southern accent. I, mean, I guess maybe he'd really he, talk like he, that. I mean, he is from. But the way he, I mean, his he play he raps dirty south, even though he's from that St. Fucking, Louis. Uh, scene where he's just being all nice to the guards and shit, and he's like, says something like, "You want to hit me, boy, or something?" Fucking stone cold, calling him an N word. He's like, "No, why would I want to hit y'all? Y'all my friends." <laughs> I love Stone Cold Steve Austin, man. That's why that movie's awesome, because there's a bunch of wrestlers and NFL players and shit in it. Yeah. I, I think... Uh, <laughs> and Chris Rock. Yeah. I wish The Rock was in it. Love Rock The Rock. would have been good, too. I'm amazed at how hard he works and just how much success he's had outside of wrestling. Because he's kicking ass, man. Yeah. I, mean, I'm, I don't know. He's awesome. Not surprised. He always had like the most charisma of everyone in the fucking oh, WWE. Oh, without a doubt. When I went over to Scott's to watch WrestleMania, it was boring until The Rock showed up. Yeah. Rock showed up, and I was like, yeah. And then he pulled Ronda Rousey out of the crowd, and I was like, yeah. yeah. It was just the moment. She I It was just the moment. The moment. Plus, they Get were caught up in they the were talking shit to uh, Stephanie McMahon and Triple H, so um, it was awesome. Can't do that. Sure you can. Fuck them. Fuck them. 
That's yeah. uh, yeah. I didn't watch any other movies. Going away from ten to one. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Didn't didn't watch Fury or Gone Girl, huh? Mm 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 mm. Didn't have time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Got it. The only thing I watched on TV, I think, really was uh, Justified. Did we talk about that? We did not talk about Justified yet, uh, which Raylan is in some shit, I think. Uh, Art is going to go after him, so he says, or so Art says. But I think it's going to come down to some crazy shit at the end here. Yeah. Who knows what's going to happen. And Boyd blew away Carl. I didn't see that coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he did. I mean, just laid him up. He talked him out of shooting him, and then mm. as soon as he was like, he got that hat on and just boom, yeah, blew his that ass was away. A, uh, like you, all, crazy episode. How, how did they not know not to trust Boyd ever? He's got a silver tongue, man. Oh, and uh, what's her face is dead. Catherine Hale. Oh yeah, Mikey killed her. Like he did. After serving Win Duffy up, and then fucking Win Duffy, he's holding that. They, yeah. they, I think they're gay. Being really fucking, <laughs> he was always weird, but I mean, yeah, he's being really weird at the end. Give me all the the Benjamins that the homies are rapping about from the first season. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that was awesome. I don't know, man. It'll be cool though. How many more we got? Two. Two. That's it tonight and next week. <clears throat> Yep, and I'm going to be sad again. I won't be as sad, but... You won't be sad like Sons of Anarchy sad, and neither will I. No, I mean, but, you know... But it's a good show. show. Yeah, for sure. I don't don't think I watched anything else, though. Uh, Did you watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Uh, Yeah, I did watch that. That's starting to get really good. Yeah, it's getting interesting. I just wonder what's going to happen to Sky, you know? Yeah. I just wonder what's going to happen to Sky. That's my most interesting story point because I don't really like this new shield shit. Yeah, this double shield stuff is stupid. Now, I do like uh, Adrian Palicki as uh, Bobby Morse or Mockingbird because I think she's nice to look at. And I I like that character. I think she's starting to become kind of a cool part of the team. But uh, Fitz and Simmons finally kind of like, you know, had a little moment. I think uh, Fitz isn't being all weird and shit. Yeah, it's start- yeah he's starting to get back to a little bit more like yeah. normal, which is good because I actually like him a lot. Yeah, but uh, you know my uh, Ward, I want to see more Ward. That would have been so much more badass if he had just killed them. We what? dropped him out of the plane. Ward, oh. they they should have killed him. Yeah, I mean I, I mean I like having him around. I like both the characters, but. It would have put. It would have actually put some weight on their show, you know. I mean, I guess people. Well, they did died, kill Trip. Yeah. They. I mean, I think I'd rather have him around too. <laughs> yeah, I like Trip. Trip was awesome. Mm-hmm. He was. Uh, his dad was in the Howling Commandos, or his grandfather. Yeah, his grandfather. Which you know that that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, so, was well, played by Derek Luke, correct? Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, that was the only black guy in the Howling Commandos and Cap. So. Right. Okay. <laughs> I just assumed that that was him, uh, but yeah, I miss Trip. Uh, yeah, definitely. And uh, I don't know. Still got Colson and, and and May running around, which is always good. Yeah, May's cool. Colson is. I don't know. I'm almost. He's not kinda, as cool as he was in the movies. Yeah, I'm almost. I'm kind of tired of his fucking storyline. Like honestly, like I just want him to fucking yeah wrap that shit up. Yeah. Just be the director. Yeah, exactly. Seriously. Yeah. I just want him to be like old school Colson again. Like, move away, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I loved that. I mean, he still does that shit, but I mean, like, it's just his storylines. I don't know. It's taken away from it, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of not made him as, uh, as kind of like deadpan serious funny. Yeah. So, but it, 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 I'm glad that Sky turned into a very good character. Because at the beginning, I was kind of like, yeah, she's great to look at, but it was boring. Everybody's character got better, really. Definitely. Ward, for sure, got better. Because he sucked at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, but May was always cool. I liked her from the beginning. She was pretty cool. Um, but Fitz and Simmons grew big time. Because they were annoying as fuck. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people just have to find their way at shows in the beginning. I mean, really. Yeah. Especially because a lot of them were new actors. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, I think you had Clark Gregg and, and uh, Ming Na Win, and that was pretty much your. Ming Na Win. Ming Na Win. <laughs> yep. I think that was pretty much it. You know, that mm-hmm. was really your only actors that had any major experience. And they got Bill Paxson on the show, and that did that was awesome. And uh, they've had uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Kyle McLaughlin, on the show this year uh, as Sky's dad. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know who this dude is. That's the Inhuman that has no eyes, but he's pretty cool. I can't. I haven't really figured out what they're doing with that yet, though. So, who knows, man. But uh, they say it's going to change major again after the Avengers comes out, so we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Uh, Avengers comes out, what, May 2nd? I want to say yes. Is that right? But I don't know. Yeah, I don't recall quite when it's going to come out. So It doesn't really matter. It's going to come out at some point in May. And it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. You think it's going to beat the last one for box office? Yes. You do? You think it's going to make more than 623? Yes. So it's you're going to put it in Avatar Stratosphere? Yes. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it could do it. I'm just wondering what's going to make more Avengers or Star Wars. I think Avengers will make more money. I don't know, man. Star Wars is, I mean... Well, Star Wars does have all six movies in the top 20. Star Wars has, like... I think. I think it does. I think they're Ridiculous all... fan base. Of course it does, and why wouldn't it? It's amazing. Yeah. So all of them. We had this discussion a couple weeks ago where they're so the newer ones are so underrated. So uh, the last Hunger Games comes out this year. That'll be cool to wrap that series up because the last one was good but not great. I still haven't watched that yet either. Yeah. Uh, what else comes out this year that everybody is raving about? I don't know. I think it's mostly just Star Wars and Avengers. So, we'll see. Right. But, anyways, um, so I don't think we have anything coming up over at the uh, the channel. But let's let's take a look real quick. I know we've passed a hundred thousand views. So thank you all of you guys for for supporting. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. Um, 186 subscribers now. So we're getting close to 250 when uh, somebody's going to get a free video game. So, ah, shit. Yep. So we're getting there. Um, there's going to be some new stuff all across the channel, cards and things like that, to where it'll point you towards a video that will that you'll probably like if you like the video you watched. Um, but just uh, k- keep in mind we're going to have some new Let's Plays. Um, I still got to do Part 2 to World at War. And, uh, and Jake and I will be playing some stuff. I know we've been a little bit more busy uh, over the last couple weeks. I know Jake's been busy at his, at his job, so uh, it's been hard to kind of get like a Let's Play coordinated together. But um, but we'll get back on that and get some more out to you guys because uh, the last Let's Play was about a week and a half ago. So I will get some more up. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's been a little bit. We've had a couple podcasts released since then now. Um, but anyway, uh, it's going to be awesome. Happy opening day to everybody. Uh, catch the Reds again tomorrow when this will be out. Um, so it'll be tonight. Ooh. So Quick turnaround. Yeah. I, I don't play around anymore. I don't want uh, what we talked about to be stale. I don't play around anymore, fool. Yeah. I remember before it was like a week. I would take a week. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, anyway, uh, check out our last podcast where we talked about The Walking Dead Season 5 finale amongst a whole host of other shit. I don't feel like we have a set day for the podcast to come out anymore, right? Really. Uh, it's either Tuesday or Wednesday every week. All right. My, my Shows how much I know. I guess it does kind of just come out in the middle of the week every week. Yeah. It's my like my preference is to have the podcast out on Tuesday and Let's Plays on Wednesdays and Fridays. And then oh, what's up? other stuff, whenever. So, but... Anyways, um, I don't know if we had any fun comments. Let's let's check out real quick to see if we had any fun comments. Community. Um, we should be getting a website up pretty soon because I'd like to get the podcast on an actual podcast network. So 
Um, Mr. Fleck is asking if we can do an all 24 explosions video. The answer is no. I will not be doing an all 24 explosions video. I'm sure that's out somewhere on YouTube. What does that mean? All the all the explosions? All the explosions across. I, you know, I might, I would think about maybe doing a top 10 24 explosions, but that just doesn't seem fun to me or interesting at all. I don't know about you. What do you think? Top 10 explosions? Yeah, mm. seems kind of dumb, doesn't it? Man, I... I can't remember one explosion on that show. Right. Well, what was their major one? No. I mean, it was <sighs> blowing up and stuff, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and Shockwolf asked if uh, if the King Kong versus Godzilla that we were watching was the American version. And the answer is yes, it was. Uh, because there is no such mention in the Japanese version about corns. Oh, I know. So I'm pretty sure I mentioned that during the commentary. I'm pretty sure we it? did, yeah. The so, Japanese version is not talking about corns. It just asked if he was like healthy. If or I didn't talk about that during the commentary, I feel like I mentioned it on a podcast. We did something. mention it on the podcast for sure. Yeah, because so I knew that. I just, but yeah. it still cracks me up, and that's what I watched when I was a kid. So, oh, I have a great comment. The, the, there is one that I forgot all about. It's gonna be fucking hilarious. Uh, Dark Void, by the way, uh, commented on our Let's Fail uh, for Advanced Warfare's Exo Zombies that he actually did the Easter egg, but it didn't work. He just got really frustrated, and then I reiterated uh, kind of basically what uh, <laughs> what he needed to do, and he said, yeah, I did those, but, uh, you know, uh, I couldn't get Decker's card. So, Dark Void, I'm glad you kept at it and got your achievement, man. We fucked up big time that night, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> Remember the first, was that the first time you played, and we tried to do the fucking Easter egg then, too? Probably, because that seems to be what happens now. You guys play for like a week, and then I finally decide to get on there like a week later. Then you're like, hey, let's do the Easter egg. I'm like, I just fucking, like, what? I don't even know where I'm going. But you didn't even have to do anything this time. Well, I know. That's all, what's so. funny about it is I, just, I really don't do anything. I just kind of run around. and. <laughs> but you had, it was fun. No, this new map. By the way, uh, do you have a review on the new Exo Zombies map? It's like, I like this one more than the first one. Yeah, more open. Definitely more open fun. is more, yeah, because you can go to two, like, cities, basically, or towns, basically. Yeah. Right. Infection, the infection map was a lot better. So, and by the way, we have achievement videos for every single achievement on the uh, the Exo Zombies map. So, yeah, uh, we should be releasing the Easter egg compilation tomorrow, or maybe later tonight if I get it done. Um, and then, so, uh, so, so you tonight, just look for it once you we, when you see this, this. Yeah, when you see this, look for it. <laughs> um, and there will be uh, achievement videos for every single achievement. Uh, we'll be doing multiple achievements It'll in a couple of videos tomorrow uh, that will be coming out all week. So all twenty four explosions videos. Yeah, that's what he was talking about. Right. This is the funny one right here that I, I thought was absolutely fucking hilarious. Uh, Jordan A, do you remember the comment that I made on Marshall Gorin talking about how he looked like uh, Ham from the Sandlot? Do you remember that? No? Not really. Okay. He goes, oh my god, I had no idea the guy who played Marshall Gorin was also from the Sandlot. He wasn't. At all. I just said he looked like Ham from the Sandlot. Uh. So, and he said that his favorite kills were Nina Myers and Ryan Chappelle. Seems to be that that's a, a big one. Um, Victor Drazen, the Al Harazis. Uh, I did like when he pulled the one bitch out the window in this last season. Yeah, he pulled the dude out the window and then threw That's his right. mom. That's right. Because he she goes, him out. you think you've won, you and Hella, but this is all on your head. And he's like, the only death on my head tonight is yours. And, and then tossed toss that, that bitch, bitch out the window. The window. <laughs> <laughs> you know that was Lady Catelyn from, yeah, uh, I know who it was. from the uh, Games of Thrones there. Mm-hmm. She dies really well. She does. Spoilers. <laughs> Um, uh, Abu Fayed and Chang Zi, the sword death was worth the wait, and Christopher Hendon, Henderson's deserved it for killing Jack's friends. I disagreed with number one, although it was a cool kill. There was a better one when he tortures Renee's murderer after he goes on a full rampage. That was in the video for the thousandth time. It was in the lead up where I was talking about how he does revenge better than anyone. That was in the fucking video. And I'm sick of having to defend number one. Uh, Lugo Elson, you're trying to tell me that a man that can get stabbed in his belly and then pull it out of his own wound and hit a dude in the neck, that's not the best kill? Yeah, technically, that's just the best kill. (laughs) 
And that's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. That would hurt enough right there. Yeah. And then, boom, bullseye. And then he had the wherewithal to get up, pick up a gun, and kill the next guy that comes in the room. I mean, come on. That's fine. It's Jack has had... You don't agree, you don't was, agree. What did I say? 309 kills Jack had across the show? I, that, I mean, know. come on. It's hard to narrow it down to just 10. Really, though. For real. But uh, that was the coolest kill because I remember texting you immediately after it happened. And we were just like, yeah, that was awesome. That was the only time I've ever done that. So, ever. And that doesn't, uh, for any show that I've ever done that. So, anyway, um, basically most of our comments are uh, all about Jack Bauer. Um, I did have somebody actually ask me what about the Dukes of Hazard on our top ten movie car chase you video. You mentioned that before. Did I? Okay. Uh, here you go. My fave is when he threw that bitch out the window. Did like when he threw that bitch out the window. Yes, yes, yes. And then uh, this guy from Germany on our Street Fighter commentary that was before I re-released it, he called us uh, Hero Sony, which I think is a bitch or something like that. So uh, go fuck yourself. Cool. And uh, Draz, Whatever. congratulations on getting your uh, 2020 achievement. Good job. Good job, man. Yep. Anyway, that's thank some, you guys for that's commenting. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you guys for commenting. Uh, we appreciate That's it. Amazing. Um, good comments. We like to read on the air. Uh, your bad comments, I just don't care about because it's fine. I would think you had better time than to. Uh, That's not true. We read them all the time. Sometimes we do if they're funny. Yeah. So, anyways, thank you for watching our shit. We appreciate it. Thanks for shitting in me. That's yeah. what I want my toilet to say one day. Thanks for shitting in me. Thanks for shitting in me. I enjoyed your shit. That's... Nah. <laughs> nah. It's a Dane Cook joke. I think it was somebody's joke. I just couldn't remember who. Yep. Way back in... What was that? Retaliation? Yeah. Oh. Something like that. Oh. Oh, the Bieber Roast. Real quick before we go. Uh, Did you watch it? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? I mean, somewhat. Who was your favorite? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't even remember them all that very well. Um, you know the funny, honestly, the funniest parts were from Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was killing it. A part where he him. started ripping on Snoop Dogg, like, oh, for don't name. lump us all together. That's you. <laughs> That's you. That's not me. That's you. He, he kept went saying on, the N word. He went on for fucking like 10 minutes. He's like, you used show. up all the ones we had and then added 70 more in there. <laughs> we all up in here smoking and drinking. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> and Shaq they always kept talking about how Kevin Hart was Shaq's dick and mm-hmm. oh man it was funny well, somebody, who made the joke that he's gonna play somebody oh he's gonna play uh, oh he's gonna play Peter Dinklage's Shadow oh <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny but that's fucked up <laughs> there were some fucked up jokes yeah there were some good there were some good ones uh, did you gain even a smidgen of respect back for Justin Bieber I mean, not, I don't. I just don't like the kid. No, I don't I either. Mean, he's twenty one. If he, you know, starts acting like less of a moron, then I'll just be indifferent towards him like he, I was before. I liked what he said, but I don't believe him. So yeah, I mean, well, you know, it's easy to say that. Yeah. And if he starts, if I hear less and less about him getting fucking in trouble and shit, then good for him. And yeah. And I'm gonna go back into being where I'm like constantly like I'm not constantly, but you know I'm. Every once in a while, the subject comes up about Justin Bieber's a fucking dick. Yeah. You know, then it'll just be back to me going like, right. I don't like his music. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yep. That's pretty much how it, how it I goes. I just don't think he's a fucking, you know, complete douche. waste of space. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I enjoyed the roast. It was funny, but it's still not up there with Franco's. No. I mean, there were some funny moments, but. Kevin Hart did a really good job. I act. you know who came out better to me was Kevin Hart. Yeah, because I don't Hart like Kevin Hart very much. I'm just not in movies anyway. I'm indifferent towards him. Yeah, he just that he can be really fucking annoying sometimes. Yep. And when he's out in like, you know, personal appearances, like like NBA shit and stuff, that's when I find him annoying. Yeah. Whenever he's on first take with Stephen A. and Skip, I can't stand it. His stand up can be funny though. Yeah. But I mean. I, I just remember him being that dude in 40-Year-Old Virgin that was uh, getting the black guy all pissed off. 
because he wouldn't give him a. Oh uh, yeah. The, I'm gonna need the warranty for the price of own the house. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, no. <laughs> You're being all condescending. Let's get back in the sale and move forward amicably. Mm-hmm. Amicably. Well, first of all, I don't know what that even means. So I'm gonna take it as disrespect. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Martha Stewart was pretty funny, even though I'm quite sure she. That was written for. Her, yeah, wrote without somebody a doubt. write that for her. the shit that Justin Bieber was saying was kind of funny. I just I'm pretty sure someone wrote that for him too. Yeah, I don't like Luda. But some of the jokes. Uh, like funny. I didn't like Luda's jokes. I didn't think they were that funny. Uh, Snoop Dogg was all right. Snoop Dogg was funny, but man, did he say the N word a lot? Yeah, he did. Holy shit! He was high as hell. Oh, he was high as fuck. And then uh, Shaq was he killed it. Shaq killed it. I like Shaq. Whit- Pete Davidson was pretty funny. Yes, he was. He was I liked funny. him a lot, and so was uh, Natasha Leggero. Yeah, she was funny. She is. Jeff Ross was it. fucking. Jeff making Ross me laugh. is always funny. He was making me laugh pretty hard. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. He was. Who was it that, uh. Oh, fucking, uh, Hannibal Burris was making me laugh too. Because he was just straight up saying shit. Like, to I him. just don't like you. Yeah, he's like, I just don't like you. I just don't like your music. I think it sucks. I think it's really bad music. <laughs> I just don't, I just don't like you. I just don't like your music. <laughs> your music's terrible, dude. Yeah, it's terrible, man. Ludacris, really? <laughs> he's making fun of Ludacris too. Mm. Uh, they had some jokes about Kendall Jenner and Bruce Jenner. Which great. Dave Chappelle was there. Yeah, Dave was there, wasn't he? <laughs> Old big Dave. Yeah, he's a little swole at this Couldn't point. Couldn't really tell as much last night, but I've seen pictures of him. Fuck your couch. Swole as hell. Yeah. Looking good. Good for Dave. He retired and will be a fucking legend forever. Yeah. So. Still does stand up every once in a while. Yeah, by the way, probably the funniest stand up I ever saw in person by far was. Dave Chappelle. So how many have you seen? I saw Dave Chappelle. I've seen uh, a couple of like low guys, like Ralphie May and things like that, when they went to Funny Bone. Um, other than that, I've never seen like a major guy. Like I never got to see Dane Cook. I never got to see Kevin Hart. I've only seen Daniel Tosh, who's a pretty main guy. And I've not, I've not seen Daniel Tosh. Yeah. I'm not a fan of his show, so it's like it's really hard for me. I've seen his stand up here and there, and it's a lot funnier than his. Absolutely horrible show. I don't know how you could say that because it's really the same fucking thing. Like mm, he's he's I, the same. I don't really like those kinds of shows anyway. Like Rob Deerdick doing ridiculousness. Not a, I don't like that nearly as much as I like, say, Fantasy Factory or Robin Big. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't like ridiculousness as much, but eh, anywhere near as much really. Plus, I don't like Chanel more just is on there, and her laugh just it it gives me a headache. Yeah. So, plus she a gangster. Mm-hmm. She's a gangster. Her, her cookie. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that Fantasy Factory where he made her do the video for that? Yeah. Oh her my cookie god. Cookie tastes so sweet. <laughs> so funny. He made her do her my puppy. Yeah, my puppy. Her song was my cookie. Yeah, because her cookie tastes so sweet. Don't you want some of my cookie? I don't know the fucking words. But <laughs> I remember her saying the cookie tastes so sweet because Rob's like. Cookie tastes so sweet. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. I just like that he messes with all his friends so bad. Yeah. Because he know. gets drama in Big Cat so, so bad. His cousins, too. Yeah, they are. Yeah. It's funny. That's why we were a uh, fucking fantasy factor for Halloween. That was a good picture. That was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> just missing fucking Darnell was supposed to be there. For Big Black. Yeah, yeah. man. Big Black's my favorite, by the way. They're like, dude, you have to fucking come out and be Big Black. (laughs) (laughs) Big Black is by far my favorite. We did that toe wrestling. Oh, my God. The funny thing is, is he was there at the first party we went to, the Halloween party this year, for a little while at least, and we didn't get a picture with him, I don't Mm. think. (laughs) So, oh, well. Figures. I like Darnell. It's a good dude. So... Anyways, Uh, we've been rambling for like 20 minutes now, so (laughs) let's get the fuck out of here. (laughs) <laughs> All right, well, uh, you know, uh, my, my name is Jake Wheeler. And I am a Mike Wheeler. I feel like I really, really yelled that. Uh, well, you you just got a lot closer to the mic. Oh, uh, you know. Speaking hey. of which, by the way, for our game commentaries, I have I to like, get you a pop filter or something. I was like, uh, uh, yeah, you're really good at that. Did I you was, do that to this week? I'm Jake Wheeler. 
Welcome to the Super Wheeler Bros Podcast. I don't know, did I? I don't know. I didn't see it. I wasn't. I don't think I did. Um, you know, but I, I am Jake Wheeler. Yep, and I'm Mike Wheeler. Yeah, you know, and that has been the Super Wheeler Bros Podcast for this week. <laughs> Have a super week. <laughs> uh, motherfuckers. Well, you're a motherfucker. <laughs> fuck you. Goodbye. No, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself.